Nuggets, oh, so golden and true. Buff Nuggets. Welcome back, all you lovers of Buff Nuggets out there. It's Brian Buffington, and this is the second episode I've recorded here in the Buff Nugget basement. Yeah, still lots of work to be done. There's not much going on behind me, just kind of a lot of gray. But uh, if you got any ideas of what I should put back there, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear that. Now, today's episode is something that I just stumbled upon, but it's a gold mine of value for educators. And it all has to do with another AI app made specifically for teachers. And this one right here, I know a lot of you are going to love. And it's actually, I think it's my new favorite AI teacher app. It's called Brisk Teaching. Let's get to it. And here's the deal. It's just a Chrome extension, but it's not just a Chrome extension. So what you need to do to get started right away is you need to go to the Chrome web store, or you could just type in Brisk Teaching Chrome extension and get that thing added. I've already done some, some calling too. I called some reputable people, some friends I know said, hey, what do you think about this app? What do you think about its policies? And they said, Brian, we trust it at the district level. We let our teachers use it. So that's just, a, you know, nobody's 100% awesome in their user agreements, but they said they like this one. So you wanna make sure you get that installed. And what's gonna happen is now that you have it installed, every, most links that you go to or websites that you go to, you get this little button on the bottom right and it looks like a little B. And I'm gonna start with Forrest Gump, just something silly that maybe you have a connection with because I do, because I think it's a great movie. If I click this button, there's a lot of things I can do. But look, just again, look at the simplicity of it. I wanna create something based on this website. So I'm gonna hit create. I want to create a lesson plan based on this Wikipedia article about Forrest Gump. Let's do it. And then I can say what, what language I want it in, what standards I really care about. I'm going to X out of those. That's for something else. I want this, you know, I want a fifth grade lesson about Forrest Gump. It's about 50 minutes and let's brisk it. I say, let's, oh, here's the thing. I've already given it permission to make Google Docs. I've already given it permission to make forms and slides. And there it goes. And just like anything in AI, I need to read it as an educator, as a professional. I mean, here's our objectives. They need to be able to read and comprehend the text about the film Forrest Gump. So some of that text that we just looked at in that Wikipedia, we need to make that some kind of sim simpler format that would be on their grade level. They'll analyze the plot, characters, and themes, and then their opinions and uh, interpretations of the film. Hey, it's just something to work with. And I was very generic about this. I could have been very specific. I said, I only care about Lieutenant Dan. And it would have made us a lesson about Lieutenant Dan. So let's go back to the Forrest Gump Wikipedia page. So that's kind of cool, right? So just based on pretty much any web website we're looking at, we could be studying animals, historical things. I'm going to click my little button again. Maybe this time we want to do something else. What could we do? Oh, let's do this. Um, let's do some DOK questions about this about this article. So I'm going to say DOK questions. Uh, it needs to be fifth grade. Uh, and let's go. It autom automatic. See, here's the thing. I don't have to copy paste this. It's automatically going to put it in this format into a new Google Doc. And these are pretty good. So let's look at some of these higher ones. Imagine you are a film critic. Write a detailed review of Forrest Gump. I love it because that's going to make you think a little bit. Um, create a multimedia presentation, exploring the historical accuracy of the film. Wonderful. All right, so I'm going to get out of those, and let's do something else. So I'm going to go to – I'm actually just going to click the Brisk button, and I'm going to show you how you can make a presentation from scratch uh, based on AI. So I'm going to click Presentation. And I'm going to say, instead of a presentation about this web page, which would totally be fine, I'm going to say create a presentation about, it could be anything, but I'm going to try about me since I have content online. I wonder if it'll pick up information about me. Yes, it will, because I've already tested this. But EdTech guy, Brian Buffington. And I said, this needs to be, you know, I'm going to say university level, 10 slides. It, but it won't do with images because I don't have those premium accounts, but that's okay. I can grab my own images, but this is just something where I'm not starting from nothing. Let's go brisket and watch what happens. A slide pops up and we just got to be patient. So let's just take some, go get, get you a drink. Here it comes. It pulled that. See, that's a pretty recent image, by the way. It pulled that image from who knows if some public uh, for, format, uh, Twitter. I don't know. Now I've done this. 
demo in the past and it picks up uh, people. I don't, I have no idea who they are. So I need to definitely change those images. Wow. How neat is that? Right? So just somewhere to start, we can make a presentation. Um, and let's go back. I want to do something else. And oh, oh, I need to delete this because I'm just going to give that away. I got to do that live for you. Okay. So I already created a story. Um, I wanted to pretend to be a third grader, so I had AI create this for me about a lizard named Buff, and he eats magical Buff nuggets out of rotten tree trunks. And so it wrote this for me, and I said, I want it to be you having common mistakes and all that, because I wanted I wanted to show you this feedback tool also. So if I click, I click Brisk, and I say Give Feedback, and I like this Glow and Grow. That means I want to find something that you're glowing at, but also something you need to grow with. And I can select the standards, and yes, they have Georgia, probably wherever you're at too. Um, I'm going to say third grade writing, and I'm going to choose a few of these. They need to know how to use, you know, abstract nouns, plural nouns. Um, what else? I mean, I'm sure use the the simp walk and I walk. Let's do that. Let's hit done, and let's brisk it. And by the way, this is a very creative, imaginative essay or story I wrote. It's really cool. I mean, it was kind of my idea. I didn't write it, but it was my idea about the magical uh, muff, buff nuggets. And here's the growing part. So you know, you need to grow. You didn't use your past tense correctly. Uh, when talking about one nugget, we say nuggets were. It's going to kind of give us some feedback. This is, this is good feedback, by the way. And I can copy all. Or I can just insert it. What if I insert it? It puts in that nice table format, okay? So I'm going to let's see. Oh, 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 come up a little bit. I'm going to insert. Watch what happens. It puts it in that wonderful, easy to read format for my students. And it's just really as we're progressing in class and, and students are just learning how to write better. I think this this has a place, and I don't want to diminish the the awesomeness of humans but what if we could do something else that that only humans could do right here like what else could you be doing that to interact with that student to motivate that student um, while this gives you some of this feedback that's very important so I'll, here's the other fun thing i'm going to jump into youtube video and then this will be enough buff nuggets for you for today i promise so i'm going to open up a youtube video of me maybe you have watched this, this is one of my, my most recent videos from the buff nugget studio and I have my magic button down here in the bottom right, and I could say, I want you to uh, create, based on this video, I can have it create all kinds of things. I'm going to create a quiz. This gets people pumped right here. I want to create a quiz because it's going to make a Google form for me. I don't really care about the standards right now. I need this to be eighth grade level, multiple choice, 10 questions. It's a five minute video. Really? That's probably too much. Six questions. And it's going to make us a Google form right here. Boom. Let's go. Brisket. I just like saying brisket. And it's coming, I promise. There it goes. And as someone who actually made this video, I'm looking through these questions right now, and it is spot on. It's awesome. <laughs> All right. So if you enjoyed this, you know what to do. Thanks so much for tuning in. And wow. Can we just say wow again? I love Briss teaching. So what did I tell you? Wasn't that super cool? If you enjoyed this, it gave you some value. You know what you could do? You can show just a little buff nugget love, just a little bit. I'm making sure you put a comment in there. You like it, you subscribe, so you always get all the buff nuggets. And don't forget, I have a weekly newsletter, so you get even extra nuggets, not just on YouTube when you subscribe to my newsletter. Hey, can't wait for the next one. See you soon. Bye.